first summer, I had the opportunity to get a job. It was how to design 3D panels for houses. It took some effort for me to learn how to do it, but now I believe that this kind of job is very important to the construction world. First of all, you are working with blueprints. You clean out a blueprint in AutoCAD, so the only things visible are the walls. Then, you import the blueprint into the software. The walls are then added into the software. You can add, using the software, you can add openings for the houses, so for windows and doors into the panels. After that, the panels can be broken down for easier packaging and transportation, which, which helps with job scheduling, since some walls are too long to be manufactured at full length. Connections between two walls, known as junctions, allow for, um, can be altered to better support the weight of the house. The wrong junctions can lead to issues with the house. Replicating 3D panels in, replicating panels in 3D is the future. And why I say that? It's because it involves the prototyping of 3D. I've seen that, I've seen some of the, that I've seen some of these walls in real life and know the application of the program. The panels made in the program are prototypes of the real deal. It is the next step in architectural engineering. A major feature of this program is that you get to see the final product before it's actually made. This allows you to find flaws, see what parts are needed, and most of all, just give you a preview of what it'll look like. This also allows for last minute changes and final touches. I found this a really interesting part of the program. This program also allows for calculating prices. For example, after breaking up the walls and packaging, you can calculate the price of each package. This program also allows for collaboration and sharing of ideas. The file can be, uh, can be viewed across multiple platforms, allowing for easier communication between two engineers. The more efficient the people, the better the final result. In the future, people will be able to do things right. Walls have perfectly placed studs. Walls have the correct and appropriate length. Walls are organized and do not have any conflicting jun and do not have any conflicting junctions. I have seen the I have seen a few flaws in the buildings I have walked in. Some wall panel factories, if they went with the program's algorithm, then their job will be done right. Every once in a while, a stud or a post will be missing or out of place. 3D panel replication can avoid these types of flaws, since most of the time they are always in the right place. The correct people would also be working in the, in the job. It would be a team of engineers, architects, and designers working on the same project. The more efficient the people who work on the project, the better the result. A wall, manufacturing, a wall panel manufacturing plant can produce at least double or triple what an actual crew of carpenters can produce. This is the best. This is the best choice for engineering, since, um, since it's all about time, and time is a priority. This is, this is a very good way to accomplish this goal. Having a project in an indoor wall plant, plant can allow, for, for allow weather conditions to not affect the product. And since it's enclosed from the environment, it also allows production at night. All of this production can only happen if, uh, if the walls have been previously designed by an architect, by a professional wall panel designer. Best of all, it cuts down 20% of lumber, cuts down 20% of lumber use. What that means is that it takes fewer trees to build a panel. In the end, you are saving millions of trees. And that's it. Thank you.